The book of Acts, also known as the Acts of the Apostles, is the fifth book of the New Testament and serves as a continuation of the Gospel of Luke. Traditionally attributed to Luke the Evangelist, it provides a historical account of the early Christian church from the ascension of Jesus to the spread of the Gospel throughout the Roman Empire. Here's an overview. The Ascension and Pentecost Acts begins with Jesus' final instructions to his disciples before his ascension into heaven. He commands them to wait in Jerusalem for the promised Holy Spirit. On the day of Pentecost, the Holy Spirit descends upon the disciples, empowering them to speak in other languages and proclaim the gospel boldly. Three thousand people respond to Peter's preaching and are baptized, marking the birth of the Christian church. Early Ministry in Jerusalem the apostles continue to preach and perform miracles in Jerusalem, attracting both followers and opposition from religious leaders. Despite persecution, the church grows rapidly, and many signs and wonders are performed through the apostles. Stephen, one of the early deacons, becomes the first Christian martyr. Expansion of the Gospel Persecution in Jerusalem scatters the believers, leading to the spread of the Gospel to Samaria and beyond. Philip the Evangelist preaches in Samaria, where many come to faith and receive the Holy Spirit. Peter performs miracles in Lydda and Joppa, leading to the conversion of Cornelius, a Roman centurion, and his household. The church in Antioch becomes a center for Gentile Christianity. Missionary Journeys of Paul The bulk of Acts is dedicated to the missionary journeys of the Apostle Paul and his companions. They travel throughout the Roman Empire, preaching the gospel, establishing churches, and facing opposition from both Jews and Gentiles. Highlights include Paul's conversion on the road to Damascus, his missionary work in Asia Minor and Greece, and his arrest and imprisonment in Jerusalem and Rome. Paul's trials and journey to Rome. Paul faces multiple trials and accusations from Jewish authorities and Roman officials. He appeals to Caesar and is eventually sent to Rome as a prisoner. Despite his imprisonment, Paul continues to preach the gospel and minister to others. The book concludes with Paul's arrival in Rome, where he continues to proclaim the kingdom of God. The book of Acts serves as a historical record of the early Christian church and the spread of the gospel from Jerusalem to the ends of the earth. It highlights the role of the Holy Spirit in empowering believers for mission and ministry and demonstrates the faithfulness of God in fulfilling his promises. Acts challenges readers to continue the work of spreading the gospel and making disciples in the power of the Holy Spirit, just as the early apostles and disciples did. Please subscribe and check out the playlist of my short video series on the most significant scriptures in each book of the Bible. They're a great study tool. Thank you.